Hello mathematicians. Today you will learn how to determine if a number is a perfect square and how to find the square root of perfect squares. Remember that a square is a special type of rectangle where all four sides are congruent. A number is a perfect square if you can take that many one by one unit squares and form them into a square. When a number is a perfect square, the side length of the square it forms is called its square root. This is the square root symbol. Another word for square root is radical. So this is also called the radical sign. When we see a number underneath this sign, we know we are looking for that number's square root. So, is 4 a perfect square? Yes, 4 is a perfect square because you can take 4 1 by 1 unit squares and form them into a 2 by 2 square. Therefore, 4 is a perfect square, and its square root is 2, because the side length of the square it forms is 2. Is 5 a perfect square? Well, no matter what I do, I cannot form 5 1 by 1 unit squares into a square. We have each of these different configurations here, but none of them are squares. Therefore, 5 is not a perfect square. Now, 5 actually does have a square root, but its square root won't be a whole number. It will be a decimal number. We will discuss that in a future lesson. Let's try another. Is 6 a perfect square? No matter how hard I tried, I could not get 6 unit squares to form a square. I was able to get two different types of rectangles. In fact, I'd probably be able to get four different types of rectangles because I could do a 6 by 1 and a 1 by 6, but I could not get 6 unit squares to form a square. Therefore, 6 is not a perfect square. Again, it will have a square root, but its square root will be a decimal number. What do you think the next perfect square is? If you said 9, you are correct, because I can take 9 1 by 1 unit squares and form them into a 3 by 3 square. Therefore, the square root of 9 is 3. Let's try a few practice problems. Here we're going to determine whether each of the following numbers is a perfect square. And if it is a perfect square, we're going to give it the square root. The first number, 10, take 10 unit squares. Can you form a square out of that? I sure couldn't. I was able to get a 2 by 5 rectangle uh, and then this weird looking shape here which kind of maybe looks like an upside down Utah, but I could not get a perfect square. So then for 10 is not a perfect square. Let's try the next one. 16. Is 16 a perfect square? If you said yes, you are correct because I could take 16 1 by 1 unit squares and form them into another square. A 4 by 4 square. Therefore, 16 is a perfect square. And its square root is 4. What about 1? Is 1 a perfect square? You bet it is because I can take one I can take a unit square and form it into a square. In fact it already is. It is a one by one square. Therefore, one is a perfect square and its square root is one. It's important to be familiar with as many perfect squares as possible. So here I show you how to create and find perfect squares. Start with the smallest square possible, a one by one square. It creates a square that is one square unit. So one is your first perfect square. Then in increase the side length by one each time. A two by two square can create a square with four square units. Therefore, four is your next perfect square. Increase the side length one more, and now you're at a three by three square. That creates a square of nine square units. Therefore, nine is your third perfect square. You can continue on like this forever. Uh, 4 by 4 would make 16 square units, therefore 16 is a perfect square. Then 25, continuing on like that. You've just learned how to determine if a number is a perfect square and how to find the square root of perfect squares.